Teacher sends girl home without pants, dad makes them pay. He ran back to the school's office and looked at the principal's assistant. He started bellowing at them for answers. The principal didn't seem to care too much. The principal took one look at the dad and quoted a paragraph from the school rulebook, smirking as he did so. He may have been smug but he didn't realize what the dad would do next. Nathan was taking Jamie to school as he did every day. Today was February 24th, the first day of her new school after leaving their lives behind in Florida. This new school was a Christian one, it had a few rules that Nathan wasn't accustomed to. But he didn't think they would cause him to reach his boiling point. When the school day was finished, Jamie had to ride the bus home in the most embarrassing situation she had ever been in. Jamie was crying when she got off the bus to find her father. Nathan could tell something wasn't right but when Jamie got closer he couldn't believe it. He was completely mortified. When Nathan looked down at his daughter and saw how her eyes were red from crying, he promised that the one responsible for this was not going to get away with it. This wasn't Nathan's first time standing up for his family. The way Nathan saw it was that what the school put Jamie through was not just completely out of line, but unlawful too. The first thing Nathan realized when Jamie approached him was that she didn't have any pants on. He didn't understand it, so he got into his car and drove to the school to confront them. Why would they do this? The faculty was oblivious as to who this man was and what he was about to do. After dropping Jamie off with her mom, Nathan sped towards the school with focus. As he came whirling into the parking lot he was seething. He imagined what he would do to the person that caused his daughter's pain. His huge muscles flexed as he moved his bodybuilder's legs into the school, his hand making a tight fist. Nathan walked with intent. He flung open the principal's office doors, where the first person he saw was the principal's assistant. Before the assistant could even stammer a word he bellowed at her, demanding why his daughter was missing her pants when she got off the bus. He interrogated her, he needed to know the truth. I asked the assistant principal why my daughter was sent home in just panties and a t-shirt, and she begins to tell me, we thought she had a long enough shirt to be able to put her on the school bus and send her home, Nathan angrily recalls. This answer wasn't the one he had hoped for and it certainly wasn't good enough. He needed the right answer. Where are my daughter's pants? Nathan angrily snarled at the assistant. She replied by simply saying they were taken away, confiscated. Nathan didn't understand why they would have been taken away. But when they elaborated, he was not expecting what he heard. It couldn't have been a violation of the school's rules. The pants were long enough for sure. The school told him the reason for taking them and making her ride a bus home with only panties and a shirt. He wasn't happy. The assistant gave a sigh of relief as the principal, at long last, entered the room. Nathan turned his attention from the assistant to the principal. He hoped that the principal would take responsibility and explain what was going on but he was simply ignored. Instead, he simply sauntered over to his desk and pulled out a copy of the school's rules. With a look that said, checkmate, the principal placed a copy of the contract Nathan had signed and the school rules on the desk. The paragraph that the principal pointed out to Nathan read, Parents who enroll their children in our school know upfront that we ask the students to adhere to a lifestyle informed by our Christian beliefs. Nathan read the text and looked at the principal, dumbfounded. How did this apply to Jamie's pants? That's when they pulled out the offending pair of pants. The principal handed him the pants, which had a colorful rainbow print on it saying, this is why. Nathan didn't understand at all and shouted, what am I looking at? Jamie loved rainbows, this much Nathan knew. He still didn't see the problem. Then the principal said it plainly and Nathan couldn't believe his ears. We do not endorse LGBTQ pride, the principal stated. Nathan was gobsmacked. He didn't understand. Did the school really think that making her wear no pants was better than a rainbow print? It's no secret that the rainbow is frequently associated with the LGBTQ community. Jamie wasn't part of the community at all. She was only nine years old and Nathan didn't see that it mattered even if she was. He couldn't believe his ears. Nathan, who is a bodybuilder with a YouTube following, used his fame to highlight the issue of intolerance, an issue he never expected to find in his daughter's school. Jamie's clothes had not been intended to represent the LGBTQ community and featured an innocent rainbow print that his daughter had liked. The school has been hurtled into the spotlight. According to Nathan, everything from the rule itself to the way the school dealt with the issue was just plain wrong. 
Aside from the blatant discrimination, Nahan was most furious about how sending his daughter home with no pants could have made her vulnerable to predators. He said that nothing had ever happened like this at her previous school. He hired a lawyer and intends to make the school pay for what they did. But is he right? Needless to say, this incident has also made Jamie's parents concerned about what is going on in the school behind closed doors. Now that we come here, we have all these issues. There's obviously something more going on than what we're seeing. Parents who heard about the way the school had treated Jamie were furious, too. Could the school have handled things differently? Jamie's mom brought up another good point. Why didn't the school call either of the parents rather than leave the girl to be embarrassed the entire day? There are four contacts on our daughter's emergency card. Pick up the phone and call us. We will come to fetch our child, she said, angrily. But what do other parents have to say? Concerned parents voiced their views on the matter. One comment read, they did what? This is unacceptable, someone better be punished if not sued. This isn't something that's just going to go away this child will be haunted her whole entire life. They should have called the parents to come and get her. But how did the school respond to the backlash? The school issued a statement, which implied that there were plenty of other options if Jamie's parents had not wanted her to attend a school with Christian values. They stand by their decision, stating that they will not tolerate violations of the school's code of conduct. Needless to say, Jamie's parents are looking to enroll her elsewhere.